my name is Ed Manti. I've been a professional electrician for over 35 years in eastern Washington, doing primarily uh, commercial and industrial electrical work. About two and a half years ago, I had a personal experience with arc flash. Uh, I was removing an eyeline breaker out of a panel board, and apparently the, uh, there was an unfused conductor coming off this main lug panel that went up to a voltmeter, and the big conductor that was hooked to this breaker had been rubbing up against that all these years. And, and when I moved that big conductor, which had a 90 on it, out of the way to get the breaker out, uh, when I moved that conductor, I heard a buzz, and, uh, and then after that, a major explosion. I was able to get my eyes closed, I think, and my head back a little bit, blew me back on the floor. Next thing I remember, I was standing in the corner, and I couldn't see, and um, I, my shirt and stuff was on fire, which I didn't even realize at the time, being as I couldn't see. And so I yelled for help, and uh, a fellow electrician came back in the room. Uh, apparently he'd helped me up and left the room and thought I was with him and he didn't realize that I couldn't see and uh, came back and got me. They took me outside and put me out with the fire extinguisher and and uh, and of course my main concern was I thought I was blind because I couldn't see anything. Uh, I was in the hospital uh, approximately three weeks the first time and then they let me go home for a week and we were still treating my uh, chest and stomach hoping it would it would heal on its own um, it didn't so I had to go back and I was in there another three days and they grafted my stomach um, and then I went home and in another week and a half all the skin that had healed on my hands the back of my hands and arms started to blister um, I, so I went back in for another three days. They were trying to figure out what was going on there. Um, then I went home for approximately two and a half months and to see if this blistering, sometimes it'll quit. And uh, unfortunately mine didn't. So then I had to go back in and uh, have uh, a five hour surgery, taking all this skin off. And then another five hour surgery, taking skin off of my legs and putting it on my hands and arms. Um, and then after I recovered from that, the following spring, uh, I had to have this finger removed and the webbing fixed between the fingers. Uh, when they graft the, the tissue, skin ends up being out over the ends of your fingers, so you have um, like webbing in there. And they take and remove that and uh, take skin from your side and, and splice it in there and, and get rid of that webbing. And then uh, six months later, I had to have the end of this finger removed and the same thing done here, the webbing removed, plus the thumb I had to be uh, relieved because it was uh, it healed in tight like that. I couldn't pick up a glass of water or anything. The impact from from going through something like this is and I'll talk about the impact that, that you don't realize. Um, fortunately, the medical expenses were covered, but uh, all told, my wife spent uh, two months over at the hospital with me, um, had to stay in a, a hotel uh, or facilities when they were available at the hospital. Uh, of course, there was food, all the, the travel back and forth, all the work she missed, um, all the work I missed. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's a huge financial impact on your, uh, on your, you personally, and, uh, and it impacts your whole family, because now they're making trips over to see you. Uh, it's, a, you know, it's just a huge uh, family expense. Um, you know, that, that's the part, I guess, that, that you don't realize until you get in a situation like this where you get hurt bad enough to have to, to merit being in hospital for two months. Um, I, don't do, I don't do anything different now than what I've always done, uh, safety-wise. Uh, you know, the, my advice would be that if you're going to do a project, you know, look at what you got, analyze it, figure out what you're going to need for safety equipment. Uh, 
what you're going to need for meters, what you're going to need to, to safely complete the project. Um, if you're working on a project and for some reason you, you maybe you don't feel safe with it, maybe somebody you're working with, they, they think it's okay, but you don't think it's okay. If you're not comfortable, you need to, to let people know and, and somebody needs to take a look at it. Um, I would like everyone to know that, that it's extremely important that you be careful at all times when you're working around electrical equipment. Uh, as much as you can, look for that thing that might be hidden that you can't see um, and, and uh, take all the necessary precautions to, to prevent something like this from happening to you.